Ever pondered the existential question, can one burp and fart at the same time? If so, you're not alone. This unique combination of bodily functions, colorfully known as a FERP in the Urban Dictionary, has intrigued many, but fear not, we're here to unravel the mystery without causing any gastronomic pressurized vacuums or spontaneous combustions. The key to understanding this lies in comprehending the science behind belching and flatulence. When we munch on our food or gulp down fizzy drinks, we often ingest air. This air gathers in the stomach and is eventually released in a form we're all familiar with, the burp. In fact, every time we eat or drink, we swallow about a tablespoon of air. Add a little carbon dioxide from soda into the mix and voila, we have a burp orchestra in action. Flatulence, on the other hand, is a byproduct of our digestive process. As bacteria in our gut break down food, gases like methane are produced, leading to what we colloquially know as farts. Foods that are tough to break down, such as beans or broccoli, can add an extra touch of aroma to these gaseous emissions. The average human, believe it or not, can toot about 15 times a day. Now, belching is a product of the upper gastrointestinal tract, while farting owes its existence to the lower gastrointestinal tract. While it's possible for a fart to make its way out of the mouth if held for too long, this isn't a burp. And the air that could potentially be a burp can travel into the intestines, leading to a flatulent event. So the million-dollar question, can we burp and fart at the same time? The answer is, most people could, theoretically. Both actions involve your stomach muscles contracting and pushing air out. However, it's not a common occurrence due to the different muscle contractions involved. The upper abdomen is involved in burping, while the lower abdomen takes charge during farting. Hence, executing both at the same time is a rare feat. Now, what about sneezing and farting simultaneously? Well, that's possible too, but beware as sneezing puts pressure on the abdomen, which can lead to some unexpected leakage of urine or stool. So it's advisable to let your body sort itself out one emission at a time. To sum it up, the elusive FERP is not a myth but a rare symphony of bodily functions. So, the next time you find yourself in the middle of a burp and a fart, remember you're experiencing a rare biological event. But please, for the sake of those around you, try to keep your symphony to a minimum.